Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie, we're going to look at the latest additions to the marketplace for Flight Simulator 2020, the PC version. We start off with a livery pack from Captain Sim for the R767200 Echo Romeo Golf Echo, right? That's the engine type. It's a 3 ultra high resolution, true 8K liveries uh, for US Airways, Britannia Airways, as well as Omni Air International. There's one thing which you need to keep in mind that this requires you to have the Cat Captain Sim 767-200 Echo Romeo Golf Echo Aircraft because it won't work on other types. So be aware of that. A really nice uh, livery pack, but it only works for the Captain Sim aircraft. That's also applicable for the next one, which is for the 767-200 uh, Sheriff Foxtrot, right? Which is the uh, freighter. Also three liveries, in this case the 21 Air. Uh, or Union and Raja Airways. So it's a freighter aircraft, right? So you can't, I would say, use it for passenger uh, passenger transport. Well, you, you can, but they won't have a nice experience, of course. And this only works with the 767-200 seven, freighter uh, only. So it doesn't work with the other aircrafts from Captain Sim. Then we've got... So the 767-300 Echo Romeo Golf Echo livery pack number 11, also from Captain Sim. In this case, there are five liveries, and that's only for the 767-300 Echo Romeo Golf Echo uh, 6 Delta. And 6 Delta stands for 6-door configuration. So it's Gulf Air, Zoom Airlines, Britannia Airlines, Omni Air International, as well as Saudi Airline, Arabian Airlines. And here you can see some of the screenshots, right? So in this case, there are six doors in it. So also looks pretty cool. Then we've got the Airbus A300-600 Romeo from Ini Buildings or Ini Builds, sorry. So uh, it's available in two variants, right? The passenger and the freighter. Each one comes comes with different uh, liveries. Uh, the house livery from Ini Builds, then the passenger uh, GE White, the passenger GE Emirates. Passenger GE Iron Air and the Passenger GE Monarch, as well as the Passenger GE Ter Thai Airways Star Alliance and the Passenger GE Garuda Indonesia. Uh, the freighter one comes also with a set of liveries, including the white one, the house livery one. Uh, but the freighter one has the Air Hong Kong and the FedEx, as well as the uh, UPS one. Uh, so this is, I would say, a really detailed aircraft, right? So. It has uh, several authentic, authentic systems, uh, including a detailed custom FMS with uh, SIDS, STARS, and secondary flight plan, custom VNAV and LNAV, altitude, speed, constraints, and holds. Uh, there are a lot of other cool things in it. I would say if you consider buying something, for, which is, I would say, really would say good quality, then this could be one of them. Uh, all the systems, right? Realistic uh, air nav and auto land capability modeled, uh, unique behavioral characteristics of the A300-600 Romeo, simulated throughout each system from the most excellent immersive experience. So keep in mind, this is the store version. There's also, let's say, a version outside the store. The version outside the store is more quickly updated in most cases, but this one uh, should also work with the Xbox, as you can see over here, right? That's the huge difference. Uh, and that's also the difference, which if you buy it via um, the Inibuild store, then you can't use it on the Xbox. So be aware of that. Outstanding uh, visual fidelity, rework 3D, cockpit model, uh, all the cool things like a realistic door arming simulation with immersive slides modeled on the passenger variant only. Then sounds, they also worked on the sound piece. And there are some additional features like the... Uh, Feature-rich onboard electronic flight bag, the EFB, including the Navigraph and SimBrief integration, um, performance calculators, load manager, and um, panel state safe functionalities, which means that you can, would say, uh, put the aircraft in certain modes uh, while, let's say, preventing you to go to the full process, right? Then the basic any builds ground handling, so the freighter stairs, uh, the truck, and the ground power unit, as well as the preset cargo loads, uh, racing team, uh, horse stable, Car transport or cargo transportery, aero tra parts, and the humanitarian charter, as well as the postal freight. So a lot of cool things. So let's go to some screenshots, right? So here you can see, let's say, the uh, aircraft itself. 
can really see that they have so really spent some serious time on it, right? You can see really see the details uh, also on the uh, aircraft itself. Here's the inside, right, from the freighter. Inside from the cockpit. Another freighter. But if we look below here, right, you can see also several pictures of the uh, landing gear, right? And you can see the level of detail here. It's really cool. So if you like to buy a very detailed aircraft with high quality systems, then this could be one of them to buy. Then we've got BK, which comes with their A6 Mike 50 aircraft. It's a Mitsubishi A6M0 aircraft. Uh, it was, it's an older aircraft, right? You can see it's from the Japanese Navy. It's used, it was used by the Japanese Navy from 1932 to 1935. Uh, it comes with uh Nine liveries, the standard green, uh, the ATA IUC, the trainer, the Russian, uh, the gray, and then uh, some other liveries. Um, there's not much detail about, okay, hey, what does it really include? You can see that you can even uh, land on the water, as it looks like. So that's really cool. There's even a pilot in it. Keep in mind that the flight deck is likely not included, right? So, or the, uh, I would say, aircraft carrier, I should say. So to keep that in mind, although it might be able to land on the aircraft carrier, it's not included uh, as far as I could see it. Then we've got the Boeing 747 Schedules Lufthansa Volume 1 by VA Systems. So they released a package which contains 60, 64 meticulously recreated Boeing 747 uh, schedules uh, featuring 50 distinct routes for, uh, take, that take you from the primary hub of Lufthansa Frankfurt to the various international destinations. So if you love flying, uh, I would say long flights, but you I would say depend or you want to have, I would say them pre-configured like emission packs, then you could buy this package, which has them pre-configured. In that case, you can play, I would say the Lufthansa uh, pilot. Uh, it requires the SOBO default Boeing 748 aircraft. So keep that in mind. It's not clearly stated. Oh, here it is. Delivery for Lufthansa is included. So you're not only getting the package with the missions, but also the uh, delivery. Then Dream Scenery, they're back. They fixed the water around Brisbane. Uh, and you can see uh, some examples here, right? Maybe they included also the before and after, which they mostly do. But here you can see that the bridges are now over the water instead of under the water. Uh, so that's really nice. Then the next one is uh, Carlisle Airport, Echo Gulf, November, Shera, Charlie. And that's from UK 200 scenery. It requires the UK 200 scenery common library, which you can download for free from the store. Uh, it's an airport uh, near uh, Carlisle in Cumbria, England. And the Carlisle Airport was originally established as an RAF, right? That's, I would say, uh, Air Force from the UK. And here you can see some of the screens, right? Including fire trucks, fuel trucks, and a lot of other nice details, uh, which you can use. There's also some static scenery, right? Like this helicopter, you can't use it. So be aware, don't be disappointed if you buy it. Uh, you likely can't use it. Uh, although it's not very clear from the uh, documentation, but I can already guarantee you that for this price, it would surprise me. Then we've got Samsine 3D, which has released Osaka City, W-O-W, uh, -W, right? That's in Japan, for those who are unaware of where that lo location is, where city is located. There are 600 handcrafted iconic building models in the Osaka City Center, uh, custom handcrafted models uh, for bridges, castles, and landmarks, uh, beautiful night effects, uh, many building rooftops or landable helipads. It's also compatible with other developer airport add-ons, as well as the detailed recreation of the Shinshai Bashi Air area, and it's also frame friendly, right? That's frame rate friendly is also always always nice because you don't want to be impacted too much. And here you can see the level of detail, right? A lot of advertisements, a lot of detail has been added to Osaka City. Then scrolling down the list, we find. MSF Scenery Builders, which has released the Waterloo Regional Airport, Kilo of uh, Lima Oscar. And uh, where is that located? That's in Iowa. So 
that's nice. It's also known as the Livingston Batsfield uh, Airport, right? It's a city owned by um, and used for public, uh, public, and yeah, so for, so for public use only. Sorry. Uh, so you can see some of it. It's a nice airport, including snow effects including let's say parking spots and people waiting also static scenery is included uh, which is always cool so it looks like also to be a military base partially then we've got a lubak preston smith international kilo lima bravo bravo created by fly to high that's a lo the airport located in texas right five miles north of lubak in the lubak county uh, texas united states and it was renamed in 2004 for former Texas Governor Preston E. Smith and alumnus of the tech, Texas Tech University. So it's accurately um, simulated, right? So it's uh, and handcrafted, built it. So accurate simulation of the nearest Lubbock Preston uh, International Airport. Uh, it's handmade textures, accurate modeled, as I already mentioned, and it's also frame rate friendly. You can see that they even, I would say, animated or at least. Uh, did some work on the terminal buildings where you can see the passengers. So that's really nice. Then we've got Spinoza, which has released the Pearson, Pearson Field Airport. Kilo Victor Uniform Oscar. That's in the south of the, of the central business district of Vancouver. A city in Clark County, Washington, United States. And you can see the airport, right? So not a very big airport, but it's really nice including hangar buildings, uh, people watching. So pretty cool. Then scrolling down the list, we find the Landmark Hawaii created by Flying Drive 4D. Uh, so they have added 3D monuments, uh, 3D handcrafted with photo real uh, textures, uh, hours of VFR flight are waiting for you, right? So this is a big update. It looks like that the package was released earlier, but now they released a big update, which contains a lot of more things, including uh, boats uh, on the marina, reworks of all enhanced airports, uh, fuel parking positions. So if you love flying in that area, that could be something which you, let's say, could consider to buy, right? Here you can see some of the uh, screenshots which they provided. Pretty nice. Then MLD scenery released the Timisoara International Airport Lima Romeo Tango Romeo that's in Romania. Uh, so nice airport, PBR textures, custom ground pollutants, uh, 2023 layout, as well as the exquisite night lightning. And there's a GSX profile also included, right? So uh, for those who are using GSX, right, you can also uh, say use those nice functionalities if you want. Then RK Bridger, which has released the New Jersey South Bridges. Uh, RK Bridger known for their update packages for bridges. In this case, 51 model bridges uh, replacing the default ones uh, because in most cases, the bridges are under the water, right? And RK Bridger uh, fixes that and makes enhances that. So they look more realistic. Here you can see the full list of bridges. I will not go to all of them. And here's some more screenshots. Always nice details if you love flying about, I would say, accurate scenery, including accurate bridges, then this is a package which you likely don't want to miss. Then we've got the uh, Skydive Dubai Poipak Oscar Mike Delta Uniform, created by Inibuilds. Uh, and with that, they also released, uh, I think, two free packages. So have a look at their site because you can download them. Uh, and then you can enjoy it. Uh, in this case, it's, uh, you can discover the skyline and exploring iconic landmarks uh, like the 23 Marina Tower, the Edwards Beach uh, Resort, Atlantis the Palm, and the Bush uh, Khalifa. Uh, in the free package, they included the Formula One circuit and several other things. So I'll have a look at it. Uh, this one is also not that expensive, to be honest. But it only focuses on the skydive part. Uh, the other packages are focusing on other parts of the uh, city. Then we've got Perfect Flight, which has released the private flights for the TBM 930. Uh, so if you love flying at airport, right? TBM 930 is a modern, fast, and versatile aircraft. 
and you can use it for an IFR flight. And that's also what they've done, right? So they've added a classic route from two traverse cities. And then you can see a lot of cities over here. And then you can fly them from, I would say, uh, the plane parked at the gate, uh, which means cold and dark, until you uh, arrived at the destination. It includes some new liveries in three different variants, the blue sky, the Harlequin, and the Blackberry colors. Uh, so in total, there are 12 uh, flights integrated. Uh, and these are the scripts which they have included, right? So a lot of cool stuff uh, which you can use. You can still customize the weather and date if you want, of course. And you will find them in the private flights TBM. So here you can see flight to uh, Brazil and uh, the Michigan Lags, the Boston, New York executive. So that are really cool. And these are the liveries which are included. Then we've got Salvo Corporation, which has released the Amafi Airport, Shara Kilo Alpha Mike. It's in Colombia. We more clear in uh, Antioquia in Colombia, right? That's a small airport. Uh, that's the city where it is. Uh, so highly detailed, up-to-date runway, custom and accurate taxi signals, as well as realistic dynamic lightning. It looks like a very small airport, but that also makes it, I would say, nice, right? So you can have a look at it, and then you can play around with it. Then you have get the Guapi Airport, Shira Kilo Golf Papa from Savo Corporation also. Uh, that's in Colombia also. Again, nice airport, upset runways, taxi, apron and stand layout, including an interior for the terminal buildings, which is always nice. Including, I would say, some guards, security guards, as it looks like. Then, Flint Drive 4D has released the South Caribbean pack, which is, as you can imagine, updates the uh, south part of the Caribbean from Aruba to uh, Margarita Island. Uh, so they will add a lot of nice things. So for the IFR and liner pilots, four international enhanced airport with custom uh, 3D towers, according to the latest charge for parking and taxi. And also uh, the airports are provided with separate files. Uh, so you can use it or not, right? So that's cool because they kind of say give you the option to use one uh, optimized airport where you don't want to use another one. And for the VFR lovers, they have handcrafted uh, monuments with the real texture. Discover every major landmark at the area. Uh, discover each island with a complete add-on. And then we've got for the sea pilots, also the Langer Goose and four Pictivius, so Pictivius, you know, Pictivius. Seaplane bases, which means that they're, I would say, not, I would say, existing in real life, and you can use that, right? So here you can see the um, things which they have optimized. So it's Aruba, uh, Curacao, Bonaire, uh, Los Alves Islands, uh, Grand Rock, uh, Archipel, uh, Ochilla, Tortuga, Blanquilla, and the Margarita Islands, and a lot of things have been optimized there. So if you love flying in that area, then that could be, I'd say, one. Uh, one of the packages which you can buy, right? So let's go to some of the screenshots. And here you can see the level of detail which they have added. So this is the area they're focusing on, uh, as it looks like. So cool. Then on the bottom of the list, we find the SU-34 from MCNRI. It's a highly detailed model. 9% uh, of the gauge are working. 4K, 8K textures, high definition. It's a Soviet origin, a Russian twin engine, twin seat, all-weather supersonic medium-range fighter bomber strike aircraft. Uh, it's a little bit older one, right? Because it made its first flight around 1990. And here you can see the, let's say, uh, interior, including spots for, let's say, two pilots in this case. This looks like nice. Then we've got Aerosex, which has released the Technam P92 Echo 100 HP. It's a twin seat Italian aircraft crafted by Technam, uh, based in Capua, Italy. Italy. <laughs> now available for purchase, right? Uh, so you can I use it. It is a fully interactive cockpit. Every switch, level, or door is working. That's cool. Dedicated custom sounds, interchangeable avionics possible to be switching switch while flying, right? So pass from an analog setup to digital with the Garmin GTN uh, 750. Uh, from UL cockpit with airspeed in kilometers per hour, and engine rotation speed to GA, set speed in uh, knots, and some other cool things. 
So there's a thing over here which says, okay, the band X cap of 140 autopilot included in a radio stack and is available with both the GTN as well as the ERA GPS systems. So a nice one. Uh, we scroll down, we can find some pictures of the aircraft. So pretty cool. Then the last one, it's the VFR UK, the Valleys and Quarries in Wales. That's by Prof SC and Nordheim Missions. Uh, so if that's the case, then they have released several uh, bush trips. Uh, so the area they cover is between uh, in Wales, between Swansea and the Isle of Anglesey and around uh, Mount Snowdon is rich in history, nature and culture, right? So we'll take you uh, over Mount Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales, national parks, and several other nice areas uh, in that, let's say, part of the UK. Uh, so six lakhs in total, 450 nautical miles, uh, which you can use. Uh, you can uh, should follow the text in the nav log, right, to uh, navigate following roads, rivers, and valleys, and crossing mountains and lakes to find your way. Uh, good thing is that it's uh, say available in multiple languages, and it is also being tested with World Update Number Three, which was focusing on the UK. So that's good. Um, and then uh, the North High missions and Prof SC will uh, add a lot of, I would say, flying hours. It will take you to some nice pieces, right? So if we go to the uh, section over here, then we will we'll find some screenshots, and it's really, really cool. So if you love flying in this area, or you want to discover a new area, then this might be a package which helps you, let's say, discovering this nice area in the UK. And with this, we're also at the end of this video, right? Where we looked at all the new additions uh, to the uh, marketplace for Flight Simulator 2020 for the PC. So in total, 24 new items, combination of, I would say, livery packs, some new aircraft, some new airports. So it's a little bit of mix this week, uh, so but a lot of cool things. So... If you want to buy one, then of course it depends on the budget you have, but also I would say what type you have. I would say if I personally, if I would need to buy an aircraft, I would likely go for the A300-600 Romeo because that's I would say a really nice one. Uh, but of course it's up to you. Uh, leave a comment in the comment box uh, which item you bought or which item you consider buying, so we can I would say kind of would say. Uh, share the experience once you've bought it really right because we now only went to the marketplace items and how it is in real life how it is really working in the sim that could be something different again here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos and posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time